So what I want to point out, you see, is the duplicity of all this. That you don't take, if you're a wise man, you don't take sides in this issue. You do both sides. And that is the meaning of the unity of samsara and nirvana. On the one hand, you let go of everything and you live in the eternal now. Because that's all there is. See, memory is an illusion. It's all gone. So everything you know about that makes an impression on you is no longer there. That's the meaning of Maya. There is only the eternal now. There is only the present moment. There never will be anything else. Because even what you're remembering is happening in the present. The memory is in the eternal now, isn't it? See? So it's all really absolutely here. But on the other hand, what fun to drag it out and to make it echo and to get involved and to fall in love and to become attached. Once R.H. Blythe wrote said to me, I may have told some of you this story before, he wrote me a letter and said, what are you doing these days? As for me, I am abandoning all kinds of satori and enlightenment, and I'm trying to become as deeply attached to as many people and as many things as possible. Now these are the two sides, see? So, uh, the thing is this, it's just like riding a bicycle. It's a balance trick. You suddenly find yourself falling over one way, well, you balance that, you turn into that direction, and you stay up. And so in the same way, when you find yourself becoming too attached to life, you correct that with the realization that there is nothing except the eternal now. Then when you feel that's all right now, you see you're safe again, this is the only the eternal now, once more you go and get attached. Or you get involved, you get concerned about some enterprise, social, political, amorous, uh, familial, uh, scholarly, artistic, whatever it is, you get involved. 